I cannot believe it's the last month we talk about responsibility. This month has flown by. Responsibility is showing you can be trusted with what is expected of you. With God's help, we can live in a responsible way every day. When we show that we can be trusted with our responsibilities, we can show others what God is like. And not only that, if we show people that we can be trusted, then they'll want to trust us with more and more. I've got one more important rule for life to share with you today. It comes from the book of Ephesians in the Bible, which was originally a letter written by the Apostle Paul. Paul's letters make up many of the books in the New Testament. Paul traveled from city to city, teaching people all about Jesus. Then he wrote the letters to the different churches to encourage them to keep living God's way. We can watch the story together, but first, let's praise Jesus together. You never turn away, you never leave my side. And every time I call your name out, just to find that you're already right here with me. Never been alone. I can trust you with my heart, cause this I know. you with my heart there are days when i feel i need a friend and then i hear your voice reminding me again that you're already right here with me never been alone i can trust you with my heart because this i know you are always faithful you love me from the start trust you with my heart no matter what may come no matter what i go through god you are never gonna fail me i will trust you with my heart you with my heart. The Bible, it's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story, inspired by the book of Ephesians, chapter 4, verse 29. There's an old saying you might have heard before. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. Yeah, on the surface, that makes sense. I mean, you drop a heavy rock on my leg, I might end up with a big cast, but you yell at me and I don't even get a scratch, right? Well, it's a little more complicated than that, as we're about to discover in the letter from the Apostle Paul to the church in Ephesus. Uh, let's see, what are the most important things they need to know? Paul had spent years teaching the church in Ephesus, but now he was in prison. So he wanted to remind the Ephesians what God had done for them and how it should change the way they treated each other, especially when it came to their words. Hmm. 
Don't let any evil talk come out of your mouths. Say only what will help to build others up and meet their needs. Then what you say will help those who listen. Your words are strong and powerful. They can make an incredible impact on the people around you, whether that's for good or not. Let's imagine what it might look like if we could actually see our words. You totally rocked it on the field today. Aw, oh, now those words were like a nice pat on the back. Words can be incredibly encouraging. Hey, I know you've been feeling kind of sad. I'm always here if you need someone to listen. Mmm, that was comforting. Just like a cozy blanket and warm cocoa. But we don't always use our wordy superpowers for good. Wow, did you even look in the mirror this morning? Ouch. Oh, that burned. Things are getting messy here. <laughs> and if you get really angry, well, that's when your words can be real zingers. You are so mean. I wish you weren't my brother. Ooh. Thoughtless words can shatter someone, break apart relationships. We all make mistakes with our words sometimes. We all end up hurting others with the things we say. But when that happens, sometimes we get a second chance to use our words wisely. I'm really, really sorry. That was an awful thing to say. Can you forgive me? Just like your words can hurt people and break relationships, words can also be uh, the glue that puts them back together. Your words can actually bring healing. Think about it. Every single one of us has the power to make or break somebody else's day with just a few words. Whether you write it, speak it, type it, or shape it, your words are an incredible tool. You may not have the money to buy somebody an expensive gift, but the note you write or the encouraging thing you say in the hall may mean even more to them. So think about your words, each one. Weigh them carefully. Picture actually what they might look like when they come out of your mouth, a knife that cuts deep or an encouraging pat on the back. Remember, Paul believed our words are so important to God that he wrote about it from prison. Don't let any evil talk come out of your mouths. Say only what will help to build others up and meet their needs. Then what you say will help those who listen. You see, our words are powerful. They can build people up and our words can also tear people down. But that's not all. We can use our words to repair what's wrong. We can use them to help others feel better. We remember the things people say to us. So let's make sure that we use words that build people up, not tear people down. And if we mess up and say something we wish we hadn't, let's be brave enough to use words that make things better. Words like, I'm sorry, I was wrong, please forgive me. Remember what Paul wrote in his letter to the Ephesians. Don't let any evil talk come out of your mouths, so only what will help to build others up and meet their needs, then what you say will help those who listen. And that's Ephesians 4, 29. We have a responsibility to choose words that will build others up. Let us use our words to show love so that we can build people up and fix broken relationships. Here's today's rule of life. It's a big one. Use your words wisely. If you want to know what that looks like, just check out how Jesus spoke to people. Jesus used words of hope and truth. He explained what was true about God in a way that people could understand. He was wise with his words and he used them to build people up and repair their relationships with God. We should follow Jesus' example. We need to make the wise choice. We need to use our words wisely. When we do, other people will know that we're responsible. They'll know that they can trust us. See you tomorrow, guys. Bye.